Welcome to 11 Online. I'm Jamal Ligon, performance coach and Nike trainer. I'm gonna be taking you through some performance drills. Let's get it going. First thing we're gonna do is start off with a dynamic warm up. The first drill is called a knee pull. What I want you to do is pull the knee as tight to the chest as possible, take a step in between, and continue that for 10 yards. Nice, good, get a good pull, get a good pull. Every other step, get a good pull, keep the toe pointed up, dorsiflex. Nice, 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 keep going. So after you get to the 10 yards, what I want you to do is jog back to the start of our warm-up area. So our next drill, what we're gonna do is called an A skip. Same thing when you're driving that knee to that chest, we're gonna keep good arm action. I wanna see you cross your body and I wanna see you get good range of motion, hand coming past the hip. Arms up, arms up, get that left arm up, there we go. Hand past the hip, nice. Let's jog it on back, let's jog it on back. So now we're gonna keep picking up that intensity. We're gonna keep picking it up. What I want you to do is get a good high knee run. I still want you to keep those arms moving. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get those feet rolling. We're gonna get two steps every yard. So I want you to really cover some ground, all right? Here we go. Highs, high knees, high knees. Here we go, arms up, arms up. Good, nice, bring it on back. Now guys, remember, when you're doing these drills, keep those toes pointed up. It's very important to dorsiflex the toe, all right? So now what I want you to do is gonna face this way. We're gonna do what's called a big arm hug, okay? And it's a lateral shuffle, tall, and you're giving yourself a big hug. Give yourself a little love. We need it about right now, here we go. Down and back, facing the same way. Good, chest up. Good, good, stay tall, stay tall. We're gonna bring that on back. There we go. Give yourself some love. All right, so now we're gonna take that into a low shuffle. So what I want you to do is I don't wanna see the feet get too close. I wanna keep that nice base, nice base. You shouldn't be internally or externally rotating. We're gonna shuffle down and back. There we go, good. Toe straight, toe straight, toe straight. Nice, bring it on back. There you go, good deal. So now we got karaoke's. Karaoke's are a little spicy, right? I wanna see you get that knee up. Really cross over. You don't wanna to be too tight. We're not Victor Cruz celebrating a touchdown right now. What I wanna see is that high knee snap. Big snap, big snap, big snap. There we go, nice. All right, we getting there. Now this drill is called a back pedal. Doesn't matter if you play any position. This drill is still good for still warming up, getting the activation of the glutes and hammies. Coming on back. So now let's get tall. Let's get tall. All right, what we're gonna do is a big kick. Big kick, and this is called a run back. Reach, 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 reach. Nice. Come on back. All right, all right. I feel like we're getting there. I feel like we got the, we got one bead of sweat coming down. All right, so now let's go. We're still gonna get a warm up going. This is a little bit more static. What we're gonna do is gonna be a big toe touch. Now, the trick with this is not to bring the hand to the foot. We wanna bring the foot to the hand. All right, let's work it down. Take a step in between everyone. How we work, you should feel it in your hamstrings. There we go. Now, coming back, we're gonna do what's called a low sweep. So what I want you to do is take that toe, point it up, the back foot is flat, you're just gonna sweep the ground. And take another step and sweep the ground. Work your way back. There you go, try not to bend that back leg. Try to keep that back leg straight too. Yeah, woo, oh yeah. Woo, we working now, we working now. All right, so now, if you don't have a partner and you're by yourself, you can use a gate, but if you have a partner, you can hold on, and all I want you to do is forward leg swings, forward leg swings. We're gonna go 10 leg swings on each leg. Here we go, nice. Big swing, and we'll flip it on over. There we go. Ready to work? Yes, Let's go to work. It's that time where we get the tennis balls in some action. Now you know when I'm on the scene, these tennis balls is coming out. Now this is the drill that helps work on hand-eye coordination. 11 on, it is game time now. Now, as the athlete, you have to help me help you. Make sure you get it back to me in my chest. Now coaches, get them out of their comfort zone, but still, Give them a ball they can reach without having to run all over the place. Yeah, I gotta get the shoulders ready. Here we go. Now that's how you do it. That's how you throw some tennis balls. Now I got a question for you. How many do you think I've done and what athlete? With no drop straight? No drop, straight through. 38? 38, that's, that's not a bad guess. 
but it's nowhere near. Let's get a couple rallies in. I'll let you see how hard it is. Here we go. You want to take that guess again? Right. You have I, to go with, uh, I'll give you a hint. All right. He wears the number 13. Oh, yes, OBJ. How many do you think he got? He probably hit 50. 78. So now I'm calling you guys out. Who can beat Odell? Who can beat 78? Who can get 80? Let's see who got it. All right, guys, this is where it gets spicy. I'm gonna try to get you off balance. I'm gonna get some reaction drills, but it's also about seeing how agile you are as an athlete. What we're gonna do is we're gonna own this line. And I want you to hop over the line as fast as possible. Don't get too low, don't stay high. Keep the hips leveled out. Hit, one, two, three, four, get out of there. Nice. We're gonna go into our second drill. We're gonna take that right leg, go over the line, take the left leg, come back over, and as fast as possible. Keeping the arms moving, okay? Here we go, I'm gonna get that four second count. Might be two, a receiver might get you off two. No chance. All right, here we go, here we go. Ready, and hit, one, two. Three, four, get out of there. We're gonna do that same line straddle. Instead of uh, sprinting forward, you're gonna turn and sprint backward. Ready, here we go. And hit, one, two, three, four, get out of there. Nice, good job. How you feel? I feel good, coach. All right, we knocked it out, that, was, that, was, that wasn't that bad. Now it's time to attack the ladder. You don't have a ladder, you can still use the line on a football field, the sidewalk, something where you can get in and out of this line area. Let's see if you got the juice. Our first drill is a icky shuffle. And as soon as I hit you off the ladder, bang off 45. Hit it. Get out of there. Ah. Nice. Let's do that same icky again. Two drills for every exercise. Here we go, ready? Hit it. Get out of there. Good. Next drill is called isolations. What I want you to do is hop on one side of your ladder. We're gonna get that foot in the box and work our way. Now I might hit you left or I might hit you right. Here we go. Hit it. Get out of there. There we go, nice. Now remember, the reason why I'm only doing three or four boxes is because if you play wide receiver, you only have about two or three steps to make a move. By that time, the quarterback's looking somewhere else. So let's make the most of it in three boxes. Ready, hit it. Get out of there. Nice, nice. We got one more drill, karaoke. This is one of my favorite drills. So what I want you to do is make sure the outside leg steps in the box, you step out. Outside leg steps in the box, you step out. Here we go. I'm gonna try to catch you off guard now. I'm not gonna make it easy. Here we go. Hit it. Get out of there. Got him. I know I got you. Run that back, second down. Let's see it again. Here we go. Ready, hit it. Yeah, got him. Now, if you're committing to this one side of the karaoke and I'm hitting you this way, finish the drill out. Don't try to get tangled up in the ladder. Read the assessment, then make the move. Here we go, karaoke's. Ready, hit it. Get it. Nice, perfect. When you guys start getting more advanced in this drill, feel free to throw a tennis ball. Feel free to do a double motion call. Don't let your partner bite on the first call. Give them a second call. Take what we've learned today, add a couple more drills, maybe use six boxes, maybe mix it up and use two, four, three. It's all up to you, but make sure you're working on that reaction. Now it's time to work on the power. This is where we get strong, all right? I'm gonna use a medicine ball, but if you don't have a medicine ball, feel free to use something heavy. Maybe a backpack, a one gallon jug of water, maybe your little brother or sister, I didn't say it, but feel free to use something heavy. I'm gonna take you through about three different exercises and different variations. Depending on your position, feel free to change it up. First drill is a jump squat, let's get it. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna jump as high as we can. What I want you to do is go down into that jump squat position and I want you to explode up with the ball. Let the medicine ball bring you up in the air. You gotta really push it up as high as you can. On the third jump, when you come down, slam the ball and go. Let's work on that landing where we're landing in a staggered leg position, okay? Okay. Got three jumps in a go. Good. Two. Last one. 
Nice. Woo! The reason why the medicine ball is so important is because it adds a little bit more weight. It's like having somebody hold you back with a resistance band. Take this medicine ball, act like it's everybody who's held you back in your football career and throw it away and go. Our second drill, we're gonna get a lateral jump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that ball, we're gonna jump to the side, all right? When you come back to this side, you're gonna throw the ball. So you're gonna jump to me, jump back, let the ball come down and go forward. Good, come on back. Get out of there, nice. Now the whole point of the ball is not to get you to rock over here. The ball actually helps you work on your balance and coordination, all right? I don't want the ball to come way over here and throw you off balance. I want you to land, load, and go. So this position group is really good for linebackers and defensive players who are not trying to get rock side to side because the receiver is going to try to get you to go left and come back inside on the right. This is going to help you with that stabilization. So we got one more. It's a forward sprint. I want you to hop in that staggered leg position, okay? Big push, medicine balls at the chest. We're going to shoot that ball out as far as we can. When that ball leaves your hands, you got to get out of there. I need a hard three steps. And remember, when we're coming out of our 40s, our head is still down in our dry face. So keep that head down, push that medicine ball, and go right into your run. Big push, nice. I love it, I love it. Overhead slam. This is where we start working on slamming the medicine ball. What I want you to do is take this medicine ball, put it over your head, and I want you to slam it through the ground, catch it on the bounce, and you'll want you to drop into a drop squat so that you can absorb it, okay? You don't have to take the ball all the way down to the ground. You literally have to just slam it as hard as you can, all right? Go through the motion, try to break the ground. Here we go, 10, one, there we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice, nice, that's good. Now all my receivers out there, hop in that receiver stance. All my tight ends, hop in your tight end stance. If you play defensive back, corner, safety, whatever it is, hop in a staggered, a slight staggered stance, all right? I want that medicine ball to go on the outside of that Nike sign, all right? So what you wanna do, take the ball, get a big windmill, come on over and repeat yeah, for every rep. Ready? You got it, go. Nice, we're gonna go five on each side. Good, three. Four, five, other side, other side. Here we go. One, two, big overhead. Three, four, nice. We got one more drill. I want that medicine ball on the outside of your Nike sign on every slam, all right? So we're gonna go 10, five on each side, and go. One, two, three, catch it on a bounce. Four, five, overhead, six, Seven, eight, nine. Nice, good job. Now it's time to work on some speed. But before we get into the actual running, we have to isolate the body parts. Now the arms are the most important part because the faster your arms move, the faster your legs are gonna go. What I want you to do is take your right arm and just put it up, all right? Now, the problem we have with a lot of athletes is they cross the body and they're on the phone or their arms are too high. I want you to keep it about right here. Now, when you start getting comfortable, you can almost make a light fist, almost like you're holding an egg. Perfect, all right? So you don't wanna be too tight, you wanna be relaxed. So this arm is at 90 degrees, okay? Your left arm is gonna be at 90 also. And this is called bringing a hand past the hip. Almost if you need to put your hand in that back pocket, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the hit call, okay? What the hit call is, all I want you to do is flip, all right, and flip. Here we go, ready? Hit. All right, so now look, you're too high. Wanna keep it right here. Good, hand past the hip. Make sure we got some room back here. Ready, hit. Still a little too high, right there, hit. Good, so now let's start speeding it up. I want you to get a little bit more aggressive. Hit, 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 hit. Good, rest, rest, rest. So let's try it again, but this time let's go with a double hit. Here we go, ready, hit. Faster, hit, hit. Let's try it again with the left arm up, the right arm back. Here we go, nice and relaxed, chest up. Here we go, let's bring this arm back, 90 degrees. Don't get too tired on me, ready, hit. That's one, hit, two, hit, three, hit, hit. One more hit, 
Good, good, nice. Now this is the difference between a 4540 and a 43. It's all in the arms. Now let's put it together. There's no hits. I'm gonna call out go. You're gonna arm action for as hard as you can for 10 seconds. And this time, when I get to 10, I'm gonna get you out of there. But keep those arms for 20 yards. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get out of here. Let's work on that lower body. We're gonna work on getting the knees up, strengthening the hip flexor, working on that stride length. We're gonna work our way down here for 10 yards. I want you to try to get a step every yard. The knee is pointed up. We're strengthening those hip flexors. I know it gets tiring. I know you wanna sit in the chair. You gotta get a full extension, all right? Drive the knee up, cycle over the other knee. No back kick, all forward progression. Here we go, let's see it. Hands on hips, on my hit, ready? Hit, hit, stay tall, hit. Hit, drive the knee up, hit, hit, hit. Now, if you don't have a coach out here or you're not with a friend or a teammate and you feel like you're not doing it right, go back to the start. Get it down, get out that chair. All right, so now let's put it together. So I want you to do the same thing. And every time you hit, you switch your arms. Ready, hit, hit, arms up, hit, hit. Every time you do this, you gotta keep the technique because the technique is what takes you through your drills. If you keep that good arm action and those knees up, you're gonna run a 4-3, bro. Hit, hit, nice. All right, so let's try it again. This time it'll start to speed up. By the time you get to about seven yards, I'm gonna get you rolling, okay? Hit, 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 get out of there. This is the part where I call gassers. Ah, <laughs> hey, don't worry. No, I know you hear that word and you're like, oh my God, but this is still the warm up. We're only gonna go about 50 to 70%, okay? Look, we're six reps for 50 yards. All right, here we go. You got six of them. Smooth, easy transition. Whenever you're ready, get out of there. Listen, we're only gonna do six, but as the weeks progress, why don't you add two reps? All right, all right. Hey, wasn't as bad as you thought, right? All right, that was only six. Next week, we got eight. The next drill we're about to do is resistance band running. Now, if you don't have a resistance band, you can use a towel. Make sure you tie that towel onto something sturdy if you don't have a partner to hold on to your band. The first drill, I'm gonna take my resistance band, but my shirt, and wrap it around the waist. All he's gonna do is go into that same arm action, same high knee drive, and we're gonna go for 10 yards. Good arm action, hand past the hip, hand past the hip. Nice, there we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Guys, remember to let, let them go, let them run. Let them see what it feels like without that resistance band on. That's the whole point of this, okay? Let's run it back. Let's go into a nice A skip now. Still put that force in the ground. I don't wanna see you in the chair. Get a good A skip, all right? Here we go. A skips, there we go. Good. Make them work a little bit. <sighs> And last but not least, the last one of this drill, high knee runs. Now we're not trying to drag the partner. I'm not a sled, all right? We're trying to get two steps every yard, okay? And hit it. There we go, there we go. Make them work, partners. Make them work, partners. Here we go, get out of there. Let's go. Now that's how you pull somebody. Our next three set of drills are gonna be called the U, the X, and the Z patterns. Now, depending on what position you play, make the adjustments. If you're a quarterback, go into some drops to sprints. If you're a DB, maybe a backpedal. But I'm gonna give you the format. It's up to you to figure out which one you wanna do. The first drill, the U, is a forward sprint. You're gonna turn, forward sprint, and then turn again, forward sprint. Your left shoulder is the direction you wanna go. Drop that left shoulder. And I don't wanna see you break down at the cone. I wanna really see you NASCAR and hit that curve like it's a track meet, okay? Nice. Let's do the other side. So now drop that right shoulder every cone. So now we're gonna get into an X pattern, okay? So what I want you to do is drive diagonally to that top cone. Okay. When you get to the top, full sprint to your other top cone. When you get to the top, finish it on home. All right, here we go. Attack these cones, drop that right shoulder. There we go. There we go, finish out. Good job. Same thing, but just flipped over, okay? There we go. 
Good. Get around the cone. Come on home. Good job. Third down scenario now. Now remember, we don't want to go four downs. We're trying to get three and out. So this is our third drill, okay? We're gonna do what's called a Z. Run full sprint straight ahead. We're gonna come right on down to your bottom cone and run straight on up the gut. Hit it. Come on down. Get out of there. Good job. Remember, like I said earlier, for you quarterbacks, if you wanna do a drop, sprint down, turn and go. Russell Wilson is turning that corner, getting away from them DNs. This is exactly what he has to do in the game. Core strength. You can't do anything without strengthening the core. I'm gonna take you through three different exercises that'll help strengthen the core. Let's put the left leg in front in a staggered leg position, okay? Get a deep stagger, get a deep stagger in there. All right, I'm gonna throw you the medicine ball, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that medicine ball to your right hip and toss it right back. Let's go about five. Ready? One, nice. Two, three, four, one more. Nice. When I'm doing this with my NFL guys or a normal workout, we're going about 10 to 15. Sometimes we even touch 30 reps. It's up to you to pick your variations, okay? So our second drill, we're gonna do that same side toss, but we're gonna hop down in one knee. Still gonna throw it where I'm at. I'm gonna put my hands up a little bit higher though, okay? So the ball still comes down to that left hip, toss it on up, all right? Here we go, you ready? Give it to me. Good, one, two, three, four, five, nice, let's flip it on over. Try to keep your arms as straight as possible and let your core do the work. If you don't have a partner to throw the ball back to you, if you use a wall and you throw that ball hard enough, it'll come back to you. Throw the ball, try to break the wall. This is the last drill on the core phase. What I want you to do is lean back, engage the core. To the add more resistance, to make this drill a little harder, keep your feet in the air. But for right now, I want you to slightly bend your knees, lock those heels in the ground, and I want you to throw the ball back to me right where I'm at, okay? Hands coming back right here, here we go. We got five. One, bring it up a little higher, look at where I'm at. Two, there we go. Three. Here we go, we got five on this side. Ready? One. Guys, remember like I said, you can add more reps. You don't have to do just five. As the weeks progress, try 15, try 20, try 30. Add these in between your workout. Start to mix it up as you start training. Even if you're a quarterback and you're throwing the ball, linebacker trying to make a move to get to the flats, rotational strength is very important for every position.